with a large format 16 by 20 plate today, I'm applying some light colors, a Titan green light pale and a Titan buff. Using these two colors, I'm just gonna create a subtle background to start. I never like to start with a totally white surface, so I love a Titan buff or a Titan pale of any color. Now I'm using an embossed gel plate to remove some background. You can use any texture for this really, but this works really nicely just to get a nice simple background removal all over the plate. And pressing a piece of 18 by 24 Bristol to pull the first print. Now we have a nice base layer to work on that's not blank. <laughs> now adding a couple different colors to the plate and I'm just gonna blend between the two. I often use a different brayer for light colors than I do for other more bold colors just so that they don't get muddy. So that's what I was showing at the beginning of this. And I just wasn't satisfied with how that one color was applied so I add a little bit more and now blending in between the two just to get it to go and then applying some plants to the surface you can use live plants you can use plastic plants you can use a mix of both and then in the open areas I have this ridiculous little thing from an oil dispenser <laughs> that it's almost like a plastic spinning top but it's made out of metal so I love using it because it creates just really cool textures on the plate and a little bit of vintage hiding in the background just a dial for a gas pump or something like that now this stencil really nice I love it just abstract stencil by Elizabeth St. Hilaire got this from joggles.com and I'm applying the brayer over the top to do some removals. And once again, we pull the print. I like to use my hands for pulling prints. I like to be able to feel everything that's underneath. Now you'll see me lifting up just on a corner and lifting out an artifact and then going right back down and pressing that back in. I call this the ghost within the mask technique. So you're getting that beautiful ghost print but what you need to do, in this case, you can see halos around some of the artifacts. So I press to get rid of the halo and then pull that print just in those corners. And I always put it back down so that I can keep it in place, exactly positioned, because it's held in place by the surface tension of the gel plate. And I can get perfect positioning every time by doing that. I'm just going to press really well on these little more dimensional pieces so we can get a good crisp image around the outside and then get what's left. Creates a really detailed print. I used Golden Open throughout that so we had a lot of time to work. I love using a paint that doesn't make me rush. And you can see the detail there. Isn't that beautiful? So now I want to add some more layers to this. So I decided to go back and layer with another transparent color, the Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. So back to the plate. Just going to go into a couple random spots. I still have a tiny bit of like ghost print remaining on the plate, which actually helps me in planning where I'm going to put these colors next. So in the more open spaces, I'm just gonna randomly brayer this out and try to feather it out by lifting up the roller at the end of the stroke. That's what you see me doing here. And then I'm gonna apply a pattern and this is just some packing material that I'm bringing out now. And just press that on, it gives a really cool pattern does a nice lift and removal and you can line up the bubbles. And then I'm using a foam stamp to kind of feather the edges of this. So stamping, it removes the medium, but also reapplies it places. 
And now let's pull another print. And since we don't have anything dimensional here, it doesn't take a lot of pressure to make this come up nicely. I just like to make sure and hit every surface of it. It's like giving a back massage, <laughs> especially on such a big plate. And there's our final print. And just to give you a better look, I'll show you how I matted it. You can see the detail there. And when it dries, about 20% lighter because it is an acrylic. You can see my tropical storm print. Thanks for watching.